In this video, I'm going to talk to you about conditional statements. A conditional statement is a statement that asks the computer to check for a condition. If that condition is true, one thing happens. If not, something else happens. So we'll talk about that more in just a moment. Let's look at my home screen here. This is my start screen. I'm asking the user if they're ready, ready to start the game. In the entry box here, this, this text input, I'll, they'll type their answer, yes or no, and click Submit. Now you'll notice I've got another label down below. I call that my correction label because if they don't answer with yes or no, I want to give them a little bit of advice to say that they need to answer with yes or no only. So right now, this label, this correction label, I have it here in the wings but I don't want it to be visible until they answer incorrectly. So if you scroll down just a little bit, we have the option to make this label not visible. So right now the is visible true, and I want to make that false. So now the, it, the label is not visible until I want it to be visible. Okay, let's go to the blocks. In the blocks, when they click the submit button, and notice all I've labeled everything in such a way over on my design, I've labeled everything in such a way that when I go over to the blocks, I will know which thing I'm trying to work with here. So right now I have a start label, and that's asking, are you feeling ready to start this epic game? And my correction label is the one that I'm going to change. So labeling these things with what they are is going to help a lot when we get to the blocks. So when the Start Submit button is clicked, that's what we're going to do. They'll type their answer, and when that Start Submit button is clicked, we're going to check, is their answer yes or is their answer no? And if it's neither yes or no, we're going to yell at them and ask them to try again. Not really. We're going to be polite. So we're going to grab our conditional block, and the conditional block is in control. The conditional block sees that there are two choices, if do, if do else. We're going to use if do else, and I'm actually going to modify this just a little bit. So I'm going to drag this one out of here. I'm going to add on, so here this little blue settings wheel, I want to add on an else if. I'll explain more in just a moment. For now, you're going to drag the else if over here in between the if and the else. Okay, now we have if else if and else. I can close this blue cog wheel that shows up here. If something, do that. Else if something, do that. Else, do this. So let's talk about this a little bit more. We're going to check for three things. Did they say yes? Did they say no? Or did they say something other than yes or no? So let's check if they said yes. We need an equal sign. So we're going to go into the logic and grab an equal sign and we'll put it here. We're going to check, is their input equal to the word yes? So let's go get their input. That's right here. I labeled it as so it would be easier to find. So in the start input, I'm going to get the text. So I'm going to get the text from the input box. And the text is what they typed in. And I'll put it in the first part of my, except it's not letting me right now. So I'll put it in the second and then move it over. Okay, so if the text that's in the input, if the, whatever the user typed is the word yes, then we'll send them onto the game screen and they can get started. So I'll go into control. I will navigate to the game screen. Okay. Now, something we have to think about, we're trying to make this as user-friendly as we possibly can. What if the user accidentally had the caps lock on and they typed yes this way? Or what if they are grammatically correct and they typed yes that way? We need to be careful and think about all of the ways the user could answer with the word yes. And Thunkable has a block for that. So if I open up in the text drawer here, if I look down, there's this button, this block, I'm sorry, this block, it says to uppercase. So 
So I'm going to drag this start input text and I'm going to choose lowercase. So what this is saying is take the user's input and make it all lowercase letters. So it doesn't matter how they typed it in. It's going to change the word so that it's all in lowercase letters. And if all of those letter, lowercase letters are the word yes, we'll go to the game screen. Okay, we're going to duplicate this now. And if they say no, we'll send them to the end screen. So I'm going to be smart here. I'm going to highlight the entire block. I'm going to use Command C to copy, Command V to paste. I will throw that in the else if, and I'll change this word to no. If they say yes, we send them to the game screen. Else, if they say no, we'll send them to the end screen. And if they say anything other than yes or no, if they say yes, if they say no, for anything else, we're going to do a couple things. Remember our little correction label? We're going to change the text on that to remind them to answer only with yes or no. So I'm going to go to my correction label. I am going to set the text in that label to say only yes or no, please. Just as a reminder to them. Now remember, we made this invisible. So I'm going to go back into that correction label and I'm going to scroll down here to where it says set the, the visibility back to true. In other words, make it visible for the user. Then I'm going to make this nice for us and for the user. I'm going to wait one second and then I'm going to make that label not visible again. So I'm going to let it pop up and then disappear. So I'll duplicate this and I'll make this false. Okay, if the user says yes, game screen. Else, if the user says no, we go to the end screen. Else, if they say anything other than yes or no, we do these things. So let's give it a try. Let's see if it works. I'm going to preview. Oh, my question didn't show up. I'll have to fix my spacing. So if I say hello and hit submit, only yes or no, please. If I say no, that takes me to the end screen. If we said yes, that would take me to the game screen. I don't really have anything on my game screen right now, but I'll still show you. If I say yes, there's my game screen. It's not very exciting right now, but it works.